What's up guys, Shane here from Figure 3D Printing and today we're checking out some PLA from US Monofilaments. Welcome back guys. So I received this uh, a little while ago and I just now finally get a chance to get to it. And this is some clear PLA from US Monofilaments. Now it's a company you're probably not aware of because they are just now getting into the consumer grade uh, filament, you know, making plastic. They've been making plastic for I think, about 60 years. So I did an interview with them over at Earth. You guys check the video up here or there, whichever one it pops up at. And they're brand new and they're working with John at Folger Tech. Now, John has decided to go ahead and discontinue selling Chinese made filament. That's where he's been importing his in in bulk, branding it as his own, and sending it out. He is now going to be selling. US monofilaments. Currently, I believe their PLA ships out at about 25 bucks a roll. So we're gonna see if it is worth that $25 or not. But again, this is actually a very early roll and I know they do have some colors out now, uh, which Riley, who does a lot of my YouTube stuff for me, uh, he has received some of theirs and I believe black and white and he said the black was quite outstanding. So I'm wondering how well the clear is gonna be. All right, so look in the box, plain white box, there's a big sticker here on it, and it is their grade, is their PLA natural, diameter is 1.75, plus or minus 0 0.03, get that right this time. Uh, the printing temp, 190 to 230. The annealing temp is 80 to 130, so you can anneal this and make it nice and strong. And the print bed, it's uh, off, or you can do 50 to 70 C is what they recommend. Uh, we have a great big sealed bag. I think this is actually because I such an early version that they sent me. This is not gonna be the final bag because this is kind of like a food grade, to hide, uh, like a food grade sealer bag. My sister-in-law uses it a lot. Great big desk and pack in there. And it is, you know, very clear. Uh, Riley did tell me that he noticed it to be one of the clearest filaments he had seen before. That was pretty interesting to hear um, him say that. So uh, nothing on the back here. There's just a little sticker. It says it's uh, PLA HH because it's high heat PLA. It's 1.75, it's clear, and it is one kilogram. A nice, super thick, solid roll. That uh, definitely, or spore, I should say, not going anywhere. The wind is decent, not terribly tight, but pretty much in order for how it should be. Uh, I'm not sure if this is gonna be how the retail rolls are. Again, this is just how they send it to me. I'm not sure how early of a version I received since they started selling it, but you can pick it up on Forgetech's website so far, I think. So, we're gonna put this through the paces on a couple things. I don't know if I'll be annealing it or not. We'll see if I can, uh, but otherwise, I really wanna know how printable this is and is it worth the money. So, I'll be back in just a minute with the results. All right, so this stuff, I printed quite a bit with it. It actually is pretty strong, even before annealing it at all. And I meant to grab them, but I actually printed a bunch of shower hooks that I created in Fusion 360. Just simple shower hooks. We've got like a marble slab type deal and then uh, clear uh, glass doors on a shower. And we have these like little mesh things. My wife puts all our shampoo, you know, got 50 of them, so we need to have a couple of them. And that was hard to hang with the loops that it had because it was meant to hang on a shower curtain. So I made these little, you know, it's a square hook on the top and then it comes down to a hook. And then Bob Uncle, you have something to hang that on now. That worked out really well. And again, clear filament is good for very few things. Uh, aesthetically, unless you're going to paint it. If you're gonna do something else with it, you can paint, you can print, paint. You can print with any color filament or type of filament you want if you're painting over it. It doesn't really matter. But if you're gonna use it as just as a clear filament, that's kind of what I tried to highlight here. Now, I will say it's gonna be a little hard to show you guys close-ups because I don't have a black background unless I use like a t-shirt or something because um, I don't have my foam core board here yet to offset that. But that's okay. So the first thing I do have is my maker coin and it came out pretty much perfect. Um, over the supports, supports came off super duper easily. I was quite surprised by that. It is an extremely smooth filament. Uh, just the way it came out was very, very nice. The Tiva Trainer does a good job, but this stuff feels very smooth. Uh, basically, you know, my default PLA settings, and but I set it to 210. Now, a little bit hotter than normally, I usually print PLA between 200 and 205. I did 210 
and it printed like butter. It does have a very nice sheen to it. Um, I, I can actually, you know, it's a, it's a very glossy sheen to it, which looks really, really nice. So again, coin came out excellent. Then I did a 200% Benchy, which again, came out pretty much perfectly. Uh, it's it's uh, two walls, three bottom, three tops. It filled everything in just the way it should, no under extrusions anywhere. Again, it is pretty strong. I can't even break that. Oh, it cracked a little bit there. Um, yeah, it's a pretty good layer to use in the way it is. And with retractions, retractions you can't even really tell anywhere where it was at, which also very, very good. Uh, it did very well bridging over the windows here, the doors, and the porthole here in the back. The portholes in the front came out really nice. So again, can't complain about anything on that one. Then I went ahead and I'm working on some spool holders for these wire shelves that I have in here now. And this is one that I kind of designed. So I took one that someone else had made that it was just basically half of this and it would just want slam down and it was just bad. So I made a double one to see if maybe this would help a little bit better. And this can either go underneath on the wires or on the outside. I'm doing this even though you probably, probably can't see that. Eh, it's out of frame, but it can also go right there. It's a little too big for that part, but I think if I make some changes, it will be better. Either way, if it's not bouncing everywhere, it'll be just right here on the top part. I'm gonna round this over. Uh, again, not final, but I did make it uh, four bottom, four top, three walls with a 30% infill to make sure it was nice and sturdy. Man, it is because it prints like this with uh, support between these jaws here. But yeah, very nice and sturdy, so I think I have no problem holding on to some spools with this. A simple sponge holder, uh, because I need another one. <laughs> I need one for the outdoor sink. Uh, we have one in the kitchen now, but I need one in the outdoor sink just to have something out there. Again, um, I kind of wanted this. I thought this one might be a little bit better for something like that. Uh, it would be less likely to get bacteria in it. I might anneal this one just to kind of smooth over the walls a little bit more. So that ends up going, and then I have a bunch of vases here. So I start out with the basic, this like, not honeycomb, but it's just like QB uh, vase. And this is the second filament that it's kind of done this on, so I'm gonna blame the model. But the first few layers is per, are pretty crappy, and then it is perfectly fine the rest of the way up. Uh, it is very clear, as you can see through it there, pretty much, pretty easily, at a 0.2 millimeter layer height. I was not, not crazy about this model anymore, as like in the second time I printed it recently, and it's kind of giving me issues, so this one's gonna be out the window. Uh, I did print the Twisted Heart, which is one that I do really like to print. Uh, it is a very good model. It prints very easily, but you can see there's the heart. Starts at the bottom, and the top again, it does an actual 360 all the way up. Uh, but yeah, very good model. It came out super duper smooth. Again, very, very transparent. I'm actually quite surprised at how transparent this stuff actually is. Uh, I, this model is just totally bonkers. Some parts it did very well on, some parts it definitely did not make. These overhangs are absolutely extreme. This bottom one down here, I think it cracked down here somewhere. Yeah, there's a few cracks in the bottom here. And this one actually totally missed a little bit up top. Very cool model. Um, I'm, 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 I'm glad that people make, so I'm glad people make crazy models like this because I love printing them, but definitely is a little, it's not a very effective model. Maybe if I upped my extrusion a bit, it might help kind of help bridge those gaps, but probably not, the overhangs are just too extreme. And then this is my new favorite bowl. It is rock solid. I mean, it is nice and thick. Beautiful bottom layer on the bot on there, and it just extruded up so very nice. This is a wood bowl that I just printed with uh, using a wood PLA that I'm also currently reviewing, and I was like, "Ooh, this is clear." I mean, you can see what's in it. I think this is going to be an awesome type of like candy or snack dish to kind of throw things in, like something more accessible to my kids than like the box of stuff in the pantry. Uh, I think this will actually be pretty good. Again, this this is by far the best one here. I love the way it, the shine on it. I love the way that just how it came out. You know, no issues at all on it. It did extremely well. So yeah, I'm very impressed. Uh, overall, it's a clear PLA. It is a very clear PLA with, I would say, no pigmentation of anything else that I can see. Uh, again, some clear filaments end up coming out a little bit yellowish brown. This is pretty pure. It might be the purest filament I've had. Um, 
Again, on the cost on it, I, I hope that they'll be able to bring it down eventually once they're making more of it. I do think it is worth it. It prints very nicely. And again, if you do need a really nice clear, this is definitely, definitely something you guys should look into. That's just too awesome. So I want to thank John over at Folger Tech for sending this out to me and thank the guys over at US Monofilaments for agreeing to let him send me one out here. Uh, John is helping out a, another small business that is up and coming. They, they are very large in plastics and new in the 3D printing space. Uh, again, if you guys want to check out my interview, click up there and you guys can check it out. And again, they're in New Hampshire. Uh, John and Folger Tech is over in Vermont. It's just a backwards Vermont. So they're right next to each other and it's an easy uh, cooperation. So I'm glad to see that. Again, I'm really hoping to see more colors come out of them and other types of filaments. They do have quite a few. This is just their PLA so far. So thank you to them and obviously the spiel. And because I thank you to John, he did not pay me to do this review. He just sent me the film and asked me to test it out as he has done with many other things. And I appreciate him for backing my channel. So thank you, John and Folger Tech team. You guys are awesome. And that's gonna be it, guys. So if you liked the video, thumbs up, didn't, thumbs down. Either way, leave me some comments down below what you guys thought about the video. If you guys wanna stay in tune with what's going on, hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell icon that we get an email notification when I upload new content or do a live stream. And you'll be the first ones to know, become the notification squad. Hey, hey. If you guys wanna support me, best thing to do is Patreon because guess what? By doing Patreon, you get access to my after show. And the after show I will film as soon as I finish this outro and you guys can check it out over there. It's a couple minutes of me rambling on about random things. I share a lot more about myself in that. So uh, if you guys want to check that out, donate a dollar. That gives you access to my stream and access to those videos. If you guys want to help me any other way, you can donate me via one time. There's a couple links down there for that. Or if you want to use some of my fill links, check those out down below as well. Amazon, eBay, AliExpress, things like that. Uh, use those. A little slice of what you buy it comes here to help me out the channel. I appreciate all you guys doing that. Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, happy printing.